Today I'm going to be making my really easy, no-fail pizza dough. So let's get on with the ingredients. Two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, that's 390 grams. Two tablespoons of vegetable oil, that is 30 milliliters. One cup of warm water, and that is 250 grams or 250 milliliters. I actually weighed the water out as well today. Two teaspoons of granulated white sugar, that is 10 milliliters. And our last ingredient, one teaspoon or five milliliters of quick rising yeast. So those are the ingredients, so let's get started. Today I'm gonna to be using my KitchenAid mixer to make this super, super simple. I've got my KitchenAid bowl. I'm gonna take my water and get that right into the bowl. My water is at 110 degrees Fahrenheit. To that, all of my all-purpose flour. In some countries, that is called plain flour. I'll get in all of my oil, and then all of our yeast. I'm also going to add in all of my sugar. Perfect. So then we're going to start getting this all mixed up on our KitchenAid mixer. And there is one other ingredient, you can add it or not, and it's a little bit of salt, and I'll add that in once we start getting all of this combined. Some people like the salt, some people don't. I'll get that up there. And, I'm gonna, and now I'll start mixing this together and I'll come back in about two minutes. So this is about two minutes later and my dough is really coming together. I'm gonna to take a half a teaspoon of salt, that's 2.5 ml, and I'm gonna dump that in there now. Get that right in there. So at this point, I'm gonna leave the mixer going for about five minutes. I wanna really, really start working those glutens. I wanna get all the protein in there really worked up. I wanna get a really nice elastic dough. So I'm gonna let this go for about five minutes and then I'll come back. Okay, so our five minutes is now up and my dough looks beautiful. remove it from our bowl. Now I've got a bowl here. I'm just going to spray this with a little bit of vegetable cooking spray. So I've sprayed this now. If you don't have cooking spray you can take a little bit of oil and just put it in there and just rub it around with a little piece of paper or with a little silicone brush. Grab my beautiful dough. I'm just going to bring this out to show you what it looks like. Look at that, really nice dough. Look at how nice this dough is. Hopefully the camera can pick up how supple this dough is. A beautiful, beautiful dough. So I'm just gonna get it into a little bit of a ball here. So I'm turning the dough ball and I'm taking my hand and I'm going like this, just gently. So it's forming that ball as I'm going around. So you're just going, you're hitting it gently. Okay, grab your bowl, pop that in there. I'll grab my cooking spray one more time and I'm just gonna spray a little bit on the top. So what that oil does on the top, it keeps the dough really, really moist and it allows it to expand. And now I'm gonna get a little piece of plastic wrap over our dough and I'm gonna let this rest for probably a good hour. The dough will slowly expand and it's gonna get really, really nice and that's what we want. So I'll let that go and I'll be back in a little while. So this is about one hour later and here is our beautiful pizza dough. And this is ready now to be used. So I've got my pizza tray ready to go and it is 16 inches in diameter. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of vegetable oil and just get that down that's an optional step. I like to put a little bit of oil down just to get a little bit of crispy going on underneath the actual dough. Here's our nice dough. Move this off to the side a little bit. 
So I want to show you this. And look at this. Can you hear that? Look as my hands are touching that dough, how beautiful that is. I'm just going to lift that right up. I really want to keep that circle and I'm going to get that right on there. And look at this as I press it. I'm going to get back in the middle here and just show you. I wish you could touch the dough with me. This is so nice. Now at this point if you have a tiny rolling pin you could get in there and roll it. But it's fun to do it with your hands and then just get your hands in there. And start slowly getting a larger circle. And make the dough any thickness that you like. So I'm going to keep working on this and I'll come back in a little while. So once you have pushed this out to the size that you want, and you want to get your sauce on next, and I'm using some homemade pizza sauce, and I will put a link to that in the description box in case you're wondering how I made this. And then I'm going to get on some nice mozzarella cheese. So I've got my favorite little grater here, little IKEA grater that comes with a little base that you can store your cheese in, so you can actually grate it right into the actual container, which is nice. So I'll keep going at this, and I'll be back. Okay, and that's perfect for the cheese, and now I'm going to put a little bit of pepperoni on. So a little bit of pepperoni, never hurts. And get some of that on here. That looks pretty good. And I do have my oven set to 450 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm going to pop this into my oven until it's nice and golden brown around 9 minutes or so. And here we go, right out of the oven. I let that go for 10 minutes exactly at that 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Looks really, really good. So that's it for this video. I'm going to slice this up and enjoy it with friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you wish. That's it for today, and I'll see you next time.